Hi guys, Transformers of Eternia here, and this is my overview slash review of Master of the Universe Origins Snout Spout. So let's check it out. So I was at Walmart, and look what I found. I actually found Snout Spout. What are the odds of me finding Snout Spout after they haven't stocked anything for months and months and months? So yeah, we have a Snout Spout, and this is basically like a review, kind of a overlook of the character. So I, I filmed these short little videos so you can kind of have a good look at him without my hands and all the the review type stuff that you usually get with these people online and stuff. Basically just a good look at the character in the background and, you know, the diorama, all that stuff. But yeah, this is Snout Spout with his uh, squirting water head, I guess, is what you, how you'd call it. And yeah, he's cool. I haven't done anything with the water or anything, but he's he's definitely a mechanical elephant fire department guy and uh yeah he's he's pretty cool looking uh, I, I originally i didn't think i had a need for this character and really didn't know if i was going to get him but you know when you see the character in the store and you haven't seen a massive universe character for so long on the shelf you tend to be like well you know maybe i'll just get this guy just to be safe but yeah, he's got this uh, squishy, like, uh, rubber backpack, I guess. And yeah, he can he can absorb water with his little spout type of thing, and then he just kind of squirt it out. I think that's how it works. I don't know. I haven't used it in water yet, so excuse me if I don't know. I don't really want to get water into all that stuff, and if it's a figure that's going to be sitting on a shelf. And besides, the, the water spout head and everything that's going to be in a bag in my master's universe little drawer uh for all the other characters that don't need the parts or whatever but yeah so this thing is just going to be this is just probably the only time you'll see me with this head on this figure like this he's basically just just going to be having the head the, uh, the the original head the one with the the poseable snout kind of thing that doesn't squirt water that's the head i'm going to use i think but yeah as far as this guy goes this is this is cool he he's a very good looking very well done character you know i mean i know origins hasn't done the greatest with some of their characters and the faces and all that stuff but for the most part i think they did a great job with this one and I really can't complain when I look at this character because he, he does stand out on my shelf. He does look great. And there's those little dinosaurs that comes with the target um, battle armor He-Man and Battle Cat with the blood scratches all over him. <laughs> but yeah, so I would definitely advise getting this guy if you could find him in a store. But, you know, in my state... We don't get a lot of these things, and I just never can get to the store in the right time or something to find these things, and it's almost impossible for me to get these things unless I get them online, but then you're paying the tax, and then you're paying the shipping, and by the time everything's done, a $15 character could, or $18 character could be up in the, you know, 20, 26, somewhere. It's really ridiculous how these things get marked up as soon as you buy them online that's why i want to buy them in the store but i just can't seem to do that since the stores just hate to stock these things for people so we end up having this issue every time where you just it's like at the the end of the you know one line or whatever it's been in the store forever and you just sit there looking at it you keep seeing uh the sorceress who's great and everything but how long can i see that wave in the store before i'm just giving up on you know i'm just so tired of it and then you have to move on and then there are already two waves ahead of that 
three waves ahead of that you could you can order or whatever and it's like what are you kidding me so you can never keep up when you're buying them from the store i almost think that you know like in the like in the, in the 2002 i think with the uh, mike young production those uh masters of the universe figures this is before i was collecting masters of the universe because i was collecting transformers at the time heavily uh, that's when classics came out and I was really on the classics train for the transformers So I really didn't have you know a lot, enough money to do two lines But I just remember that there was a lot of masses universe um, From the 2000 X line on the shelf at the time. I wish that they could have done that with masses universe origins Because this this line I would have been so much happier to see and plus it reminds me of back of the 80s when I used to go to the store and I would see like six to ten figures, different figures, just all in a row, maybe more than that even. And you'd see their vehicles and Castle Grayskull, Snake Mountain, you'd see the whole works. And it's just a, just amazing to look at. I mean, at least in the 80s, it was just amazing. The toy, co the toys that they had on the shelf back then just looked just glorious when you walk in the store to see all this stuff but today it's just dwindling it's like they don't even know that people want to collect toys because i don't think kids for the most part collect toys anymore i think it's us you know 80s guys who are going out to the store and buying these things so it's just like i think that they think well why why even stock them then you know and then i don't think they understand that it's the people who are working that are paying for these things so there's a lot of money in this now because the collectors from the 80s now have money and they're giving them money but i don't think that they understand or i don't think that they care so anyway the this is now spout in his uh final form i'll say it that way because this is the way he's going to sit on my shelf uh this is how i like to look at him anyway with his He's got that cool, um, that elephant snout, that the mechanical element snout, elephant snout that is posable. That's kind of cool. I don't think, I never had the original one back in the 80s, so I, or whatever the snout spout came out. So I don't know anything about this guy. This is the first time I ever got this guy. So having the posable snout is kind of cool. I mean, it sounds weird, but it just makes the character more. You know, it gives him more character, I guess. But yeah, this is Snout Spout in all his glory. And I just figured I'd do a quick review or kind of um, overlook of the character. Since I got him in the store and I couldn't believe it. Um, so yeah, this this is the definitive Snout Spout in my eyes. Um, I don't really care for this the, um, the water squirting. Uh, head and everything I mean I, I realize they're just doing what they did in the 80s but I mean if they if they would only do that for all these characters they would be, it'd probably cost us more money because I guarantee you like Mechanek that's coming up here I think he's an Amazon exclusive with the Road Ripper or something anyway I guarantee you his head's just going to be able to pop off and then you're going to be able to put a neck on and then pop his head back on and put a different you know take his neck off you know it's not going to be an action feature but anyway this that's pretty much all i can say this is snout spout and this is basically everything about him that i think i could think of so like share and subscribe and thank you for watching